Hi, this is a haul video and I've recently been to Primark. Now, I don't live near a Primark. I live about an hour away from the nearest one, which in one way is good, but in others is quite bad because it is such a great shop to buy your essentials. You know, kids' clothes are so cheap. Jewellery, shoes, handbags, sunglasses, clothes, nightwear. It, it, it is really, really great shop. I love it. Absolutely love it. So I went to Cardiff recently and I wanted to go primarily because my youngest son, he's going on a school residential trip in a couple of weeks time so I wanted to get some t-shirts and joggers and stuff like that but also there's a few things that I had in mind for myself as well I wanted a new pair of like summer shoes I wanted some sunglasses and I just wanted to have a look around really but uh, yeah no really pleased with the items that I've got I will talk you through what I've got but um, here it is <laughs> So two bags, one big one and one little one. So in the little one is my son's items and then the big one is mine. So I'll go for mine first. Now the cost of all these items came to just under £100. So yeah, £100 is a heck of a lot of money. But what I got is really good value for money and I have got quite a lot of pieces. So I'll just start off by showing you what I've got. Now there is a theme going on. I didn't really pick up on it until I got home. <laughs> but it's a colour theme. So the first item I got is this gorgeous top. It's a mustardy colour and it's £12, is it £12? So yeah, so it's a £12 and I bought it in a size 14. No, I'm a size 14 to 16. So this look quite large. It's like a cheesecloth-y type material. It's really lovely. And what I like about it, it's got massive sleeves. Really, really nice massive sleeves. Just really lightweight. Really nice to wear with some skinny jeans and some slip-on shoes. But I think, because it's quite see-through, I think I'll have to wear like a vest or something or a skin-coloured vest underneath it. I've tried it on and it is a little bit too big. I wish I'd got a size um, 12 now, even though there's no way on earth I'm a size 12. But it is a little bit big and I think it's because it's quite short and I'm nearly five foot nine so you know I'm not extremely tall but it's a little bit short it just comes basically on my waist <laughs> so yeah unfortunately I think if it was a size 12 it would be more slim lined on me and it look a little bit better but I do love it and I am going to keep it I just love the detailing it's really nice so that's my first item right my next is a set it's a pajama set now I thought oh these would be handy to wear in the summer but also because I'm going away to Italy in May with my friends so I thought oh it'd be really nice just to wear something like this now these cost five pen each and they're in size large size large in Primark is 14 to 16 so that's the shorts there you can see elasticated waist drawstring and really pretty detailing really really pretty detailing you've got little pockets in there uh, they're gorgeous they are gorgeous so I like them that's the shorts and this is the top that goes with it it's quite low cut but it's pajamas it's fine <laughs> so you can see there it really really nice again i love the detailing i love the crochet and everything it's also got like a silver thread running through it i'm not sure if the camera can pick it up it's really pretty so it's like a baby doll top and that's what it looks like on the back so it's elasticated there now the next two items i bought to be worn together and i saw these on a mannequin and i've had to have them oh they are stunning i won't be able to show you them in detail properly <laughs> because i've only got this sort of space but they're elasticated waist wide leg trousers now they've got a pocket in there so the gorgeous gorgeous print <laughs> you can see there really wide leg and they fit my legs perfectly and I have trouble usually with trousers but no and it doesn't say long and it doesn't say short or anything like that it's just standard length so if you are shorter than me you might have trouble with them being a bit long but um I don't know whether that goes for all this sort of baggy trousers I'm not sure but they are gorgeous they, they I bought them in a size 14 because I currently want to lose a little bit of weight they are a bit tight across my stomach but with the top on, you can't really tell and it's fine. And I know in a couple of months time that they will probably fit me because I gen generally lose a bit of weight as it comes into the summer and then I pile it back on in the winter. But I wanted to get these because I love orange clothes, but I can't usually wear a lot of orange because i got orange hair and I don't want to look like a complete orange. So I thought these were beautiful. Nice pockets and everything, not too see-through, gorgeous material. So I'm really chuffed with these and these were 10 pound. 
amazing amazing so to wear with that i just got this very plain bardo top off the shoulder top and this is a size again size 14 i think and it is four pound so it's just white so you'd need like a nude bra underneath because you can see through it a little bit but i just thought that's quite nice and it's not too long and it's not too short so it's not cropped but it comes just on my waist and it looks really lovely with these trousers so a whole outfit for 14 pound so happy with that next is some shoes and um, i haven't got any gray shoes and i wanted some gray shoes and um, i don't own very much slip-on shoes either i have a lot of is it gilly or killy the one the type of shoes that have got lots of lace-ups so you, you know you put your foot in and they're like a slipper shoe like this but they have lacing so it goes up your legs i've got a lot of those and i just fancied getting some nice simple slip-on ones now i'm a size 8 uk and these cost six pound so really nice to wear with some skinny jeans or some trousers maybe but uh, no really nice i tried them on and they are really really comfy six pound that's a bargain isn't it no really happy with that then i got a thing for stripes i love stripy clothes and i saw this and i have i have got a top similar to this but my husband shrunk it <laughs> he put it in the tumble dryer and it shrunk and it was already sort of shortish on me anyway so no it hardly covers my belly which is not a good look <laughs> so i got this it's a boat neck oh it's wrong way around so i got this top it's long sleeves and yeah nice just normal normal top long sleeve top but it's boat neck so it comes just on the tops of my shoulders there it is gorgeous now i got this in a size 16 and i paid four pound for it so no really nice really really nice and good quality as well picked up some knickers so these are like a set of three size large and these cost three pounds so a pound each and they are lovely they are t-shirt material so so soft and stretchy and really comfortable i've had these before and i love them so no those are my knickers <laughs> continuing the orangey mustard theme i picked up a belt <laughs> So this is in size large again and this cost me £4. So it's this gorgeous vela material and then on the back it's stretchy and the button this does up like this. So I've, I've got a few of these from Primark but I haven't got a colour colourful, a really colourful one. So I really fancy that, I really fancy it and I like the way that design is as well. So you just hook it in like that and hook it out so no really nice oh, so the last orangey themed thing <laughs> are these sunglasses oh, i absolutely love them i walked past them and i said to my son i said oh what do you think of those and he goes oh they're cool mum i was like mm. and i walked away and then i walked past again and i thought oh i tried them on i said what do you think i look like yeah you look quite yellow but it looks cool mum so I tried them on and I only had like a reflection on a shelf to look at but um, I love them so they're like an ombre effect they go from orange to bright yellow very see-through I'll put them on and show you now but I'll just take this label off here so it comes in like a little pouch and they cost three pound right oh I've taken that sticky thing off now and it's left that part all sticky but no no mind <laughs> No, they look so cool. <laughs> I love large ones as well. Three pounds, come on. They are so cool. You can see the ring of my ring light. But um, no, I love them. I absolutely love them. <laughs> Can't wait to wear them. You know me, if I'm going to Primark, I'm going to have to buy their jewellery. So I bought two items. So the first item is this stack necklace. And this cost me four pounds. So there's a few here. There's about three or four different necklaces and down there. I absolutely love it. Really, really love it. Very fine detailing and just really nice. Just nice to have a stack. I do like wearing loads of stacks. So nope, really pretty. So that's four pounds. And then I bought some rings. I recently had some from the Wish app, but a lot of them were really tiny and I can't wear them. And I like buying these type of rings because they don't last long, you know, they last probably up until the end of the summer and then they all turn color and then I chuck them away. But they're so cheap, two pound 50 for a pack of eight so i went for large normally i go for like a medium but i wanted some bigger ones just mainly to put on my thumb or like my index finger or something so that's what that looks like some cool ones there 
So I'm really happy with those. I bought some fake eyelashes. Now these are Girls of Attitude Glamour for Sexy Stunning Lashes. Now these cost me £3. And I'm wearing Girls of Attitude now, eyelash, fake eyelashes today. They're okay. I've never tried these ones. These ones look lovely. These ones are cheap and yeah, they're not that great. They feel quite stiff, but they're all right. But these ones look really pretty. And I follow Helen Anderson on YouTube and she swears by these. She buys stacks and stacks of these ones. So I thought, all right then, I'll buy one and see what they're like. And they look very similar to the Ardell Wispy ones that I buy and it's for half the price. So no, so I'll give them a go and see what they're like. So my last two items are makeup and these are from the Primark Nude collection. So I'm not sure how new they are. I think they're relatively new. I don't think they've been out very long, but they both cost three pound each. So this one is the Metallic Eye collection and it's in Naked Ambitions. You've got a metallic eyeshadow cream, eyeliner, pencil and precision applicator. So that's what that looks like there. And this one is a high shine lip gloss and lip liner and the colour looks gorgeous, really pretty. Hopefully you can see there. So no, so I thought about £3 each, that's quite good. There's quite a few products in here. I haven't tested much Primark makeup before, so you know, I'll give them a go and see what they like. So that was all my items and I'm really, really chuffed with it. Besides the, the mustard top being a little bit too big, everything else is brilliant and I'm really happy with my purchases. So the rest, basically, I'll just tell you what I bought for my son and how much they cost. So if you've got kiddies, you'll give you an idea. So this is, this is just a basic hoodie and it costs seven pound. There you go, so just a basic hoodie with kangaroo pockets, just nice, nice and warm. And then to go with it, I got him some joggers and these cost seven pound as well. Links in there. It's just long joggers, army design. Now these are the bargains. These are £1.80. So I've got a load of t-shirts, £1.80 and they're exactly the same sort of quality that you'd buy in Next or anywhere else really. They are such good quality. They don't feel cheap, they don't feel thin and they wash well. £1.80. It's really good. So that's one. That's another one. I've got a few. <laughs> that's another one. And another one. <laughs> and another one. I love this one. Quite cool. And another one. Really nice bright colours. And then the last one then. Woo! So there you go. So that's all the items I bought in Primark recently. To be honest, when I go into a Primark, I look around and I get a bit overwhelmed. You know, there's four like floors. I think there's four anyway. And I've got dyslexia. So my <laughs> sense of direction is absolutely useless. So I get confused all the time and I forget what floor I'm on and where the checkouts are and everything all the time. It's okay. If I've got time, then I'm chilled out. But if I haven't, or if I've got a little one with me, then it's like, Ugh! but no, this, this visit was lovely. It was really, really good. And I was really impressed actually with the items that are in the season in Primark. When I went a couple of months ago, yes, there's always something that I see that I would like, whether it's uh, shoes or underwear or something like that, or mainly jewellery. <laughs> but as far as clothes go, basically I think when I went last time I just got basic items like cardigans and things like that so to me that's not very exciting it's like my basic war wardrobe staples but going in recently they've got a ton of beautiful clothes at the moment it is so so lovely in there it's very very tropical very summery so coming into spring so they are brightening things up but the clothes and the shirts they've got a lot of like gypsy style shirts and just quite unusual patterns and designs and all for under like £10. So I'm hoping to go back there now before May so I can stock up on some things for my trip away to Italy. So yeah, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, it'd be lovely if you give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more, then please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Take care, bye-bye.